this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is a show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one that came by way of James from Lakeside, California. He regularly contributes to my noodle frenzy. And thank you very much. This is Mr. Who Rice Noodle Soup. Fa flavor. It's full of fa flavor, so that's good. So you get this tray, and it's got the rice noodle looking like that. And then you put your flavor in there. We'll have a special little thing we do today. Is that flavor? And here's some uh, just liquidy stuff. And you fill it to the line. Let it sit for four minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's turn that boil off. Up to the line. What about there? Oh, stop bakering. So we will use this. And we're gonna put, but I. Oh, stop your yam yammering and your noise making and your chortling. Don't chortle. There's that. Four minutes. Now, do you want to witness the amazing, amazingness? There they are. Okay, you guys need to simmer down. Very important fact. Let me bring you over here so you can witness the magic of the guinea pigs before I kill my children. Hold on. I'm gonna give these guys a little something. Go sit down. They hear that plastic bag and oh boy, they lose their freaking mind. Go sit down. Go sit down. I'm recording, I'm doing my show. Alright, you guys want some of this? Oh, oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, scoot, scoot, scoot. Yeah, come on, up here, up here. Go on, go on, go on, go get some. It's up there. No, really, it's up here. Betty's scarfing it all down. Go get it. Go get it. So yeah, now they're all in a frenzy for the food, and there they go. And now they're enjoying some enjoyables. So that's what they do. That's what they live for. All they want to do is eat their guinea pig treats and their food. Go on, Petunia. You can make it up there. You can do it. Hey, Toonie. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know how to get up there. Hey, hey. Come back here. Yeah, can I... Get on film? Okay. So that's the uh, <laughs> the frenzy of the wild guinea pigs in living color, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it goes. Generally, every morning we have some some cray cray like that. It's fun. They they they're neat little animals. They do their thing, and they do it well. 
Yeah. It's kind of nice that they're right there in their big, their big habitat, their, their mansion for guinea pigs. I mean, that thing is freaking huge. We're trying to get rid of our old one and it's like, nobody wants it. It's like, don't houses come with guinea pigs? Don't you need a place for said guinea pigs? I don't know, but they should. Guinea pigs are wonderful. But they are kind of expensive. They like produce and they like a lot of produce. They, they're, they're getting bigger. So, but yeah. Old Petunia, Betty, and Louise up there chowing down on some kind of greenery that I found in the bottom of the fridge. The other day I kind of messed up. I used my wife's spinach. <laughs> it's like, that's not for them. Don't, don't. Sorry, sorry. It's all good. Alright, here's our pho flavor, and this actually smells more like fish flavor, which is kind of weird. It did mention it had bonito in it, but it almost looked like from the picture it was like supposed to be a chicken variant. So we'll see. I'm going to do a couple cross cuts with the scissors to make the rice noodle more manageable. I swear, this, this style of rice noodle, it ends up being like literally one contiguous noodle. Which is like, how can anybody, I mean, you'd be just like, <laughs> for miles, miles and miles and miles. I can't, I can't do it. Here we are. Looks well hydrated in the time allotted, four minutes. There we are. I'm not gonna burn my mouth again. No, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit while I hold the fork. But yeah, I think I'll go out and uh, I've got two spots that I've been thinking about doing some shooting at. Not like people, like footage. But I'm not that interesting. Hmm. Noodles pretty good. Kind of rice gluteny. That's interesting. It's a little tight touch spicy, salty, and then kind of like pretend chicken, but it's a fish thing. So it's almost like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to use this one or the other one? I've been using the other one for eggs. I'm going to use this one. I, the ones that I used yesterday were the big, big round bowls. And they're really neat. They're solid colors, but they are going bye-bye. They're too shiny. This one's good for, for uh, marinating eggs in, but rarely have I had luck with it for a noodle, but for this one, I'm gonna give it a try. Here's our noodle. Yeah, it's, see how deep it is? That's the only problem. I like how, I like the edge of the bowl, but when it's too deep, those are, two, those are two big problems for me. Too deep of a bowl, and too reflective of a bowl. If, if I have those two things going on, I'm kind of, kind of screwed. Dare I say, screwed. Here's some spring onion. I know you want the coriander, but I'm gonna go with spring onion. And the peppers. And then the last bit of chicken. It kind of looks like chicken pho, but it doesn't really taste all that chickeny there's a chicken now it'll taste chickeny but I would give this one an, and it's all right not my favorite speaking of my favorite I did come out with a the top 10 if you haven't seen it Top 10 Instant Noodles of All Time 2022 edition. You can check it out. It's the, uh, if you go just to the channel, that'll be the first thing you see. 
And since this is supposed to be fun, oh god, that's right. So there's this guy on YouTube who's been just like having a big hissy fit. You put you you put the sriracha sauce right on the pho. You ruined that broth. You just ruined it. It's like, gee, every pho restaurant I've seen, that's how they do it. And uh, he was like, "Well, if your neighbor was a murderer, would you would you would it be okay for you to be a murderer?" I was like, "Whoa, dude, taking it a little extreme there, but you know, like I, I feel your passion, man. I feel it, but I don't feel your tantrum." I mean, this guy like just started flipping out. I think it's funny when people flip out on things like, like what if somebody had like a huge tantrum about the quality. The build quality of rubber bands. That's that's what it feels like. And there are people that probably have... You don't even understand! This is how rubber bands are! This is how rubber bands work! My God, you're killing the rubber bands! I, I don't know. It's possible. Anyways, do it to it, Rotato. That's it for me for today being Sunday. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go dig up three more tonight and get them all ready and do them, do them tomorrow. So I almost want to say it's been it's five or six days in a row. But in the last couple of weeks, I've done about 30 reviews. Uh, this one will be number 40. Oh, 40. 4,250, which means only 700 and... 50 more to go or 749 to go to the big 5,000 so I hope you'll stay tuned and we're getting really close to episode 1500 of instant noodle recipe time this is a show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles if you so desire and this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day have a wonderful day bye bye